Welcome to another episode of You, Me, and The, the Flea. Flea. It's Thursday. We're cruising through summer. And if you're watching us, we're in a new space. That's right. <laughs> so don't, yeah, this is... The same Don't girls. get startled. It's the same it's still girlies. us. <laughs> still us, different locations. Sometimes you gotta spice it up a little. Got to. You know what Have I mean? Have to spice it up. Basically, Rachel and I just wanted to relax a little bit we more. We just wanted to have a therapy couch, honestly. <laughs> We probably need one, that's for sure. Definitely. <laughs> Everyone listening is like, finally, these girls got it. <laughs> Just where's the therapist? <laughs> um, anyways, no, thanks for coming back. Um, welcome to another episode. We are chatting about maybe something that you might think is weird right now, but we need to talk about. Because we talk about it almost in every single episode, but wanted to give it more of a formal light, if you will. Sure. And that is... The good old fruits and vegetables. I mean, listen, you know I'm a big <laughs> produce girly. I know. We've talked about it a hundred million times, you guys. It, it's all over our channels, YouTube, Literally. TikTok, Instagram. Swap is really the best place to buy your produce. Um, not only are they like so budget friendly, but you you'd be surprised. Like there's mm-hmm. fruit and vegetables there that are not at like Mariano's or Jewel. Yeah. At all. For sure. And I mean like especially like right now i feel like more so since we've been like adults wouldn't you say like farmers markets have gotten more popular oh, or like sure. so many things like yeah. in in the world like how we're eating has changed like yep. i never used to hear about pesticides or gmo <laughs> organic you know what i mean and now i feel it's like, like everywhere. it's in our face every single day mm. oh sweeteners and like all yeah. this stuff Do the sweeteners you too. oh my gosh for sure i mean even like coffee creamer seriously there's like you know your non-dairy everyone i know <laughs> kid you not like if people are like oh coffee cream and i like bring mine out they're like <laughs> where's Wait, like where's, coffee mate do you use not co- I, I just switch it up i oh, go okay, I, whatever. I literally go everywhere i do mm-hmm. starbucks i'll do coffee mate i'll do chobani you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, it just kind of depends. Also, I sometimes I'm just getting what's on sale. Totally. Because, like, I don't really – I usually get, like, flavored coffee, so mm-hmm. I don't really need, like, a cream. Um, but even then, it's like, oh, well, do you have an oat milk al- alternative? Do you have almond milk? <laughs> do you have raw milk? No, seriously. There's so I'm much like, coconut dude, I milk, keep whatever. Up. I'm with you. I always go kind of with what I'm feeling, yeah. but – Especially now with like all the syrups and stuff in coffee, yeah. I'm like, oh my oh, god. Oh, you can, yeah. I now, used to be just a black girly, but lately I'm like, give me, oh, the, give right. me the pump. I'll have the pistachio lavender yeah. mo- mocha, maca mocha. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew, that would be disgusting. But, anyways, um, wanted to start off with kind of some myths about food. And again, we're kind of talking about this because of the produce section at swap and stuff. And we've, it's in the summer. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Also in the fall, it's insane. So anyways, jumping right into some food myths, if you will, have you heard that carrots improve your eyesight? Yes. That's probably wrong. (laughs) Okay. So the actual fact is carrots are high in beta carotene. Isn't it good for your heart? Which is good for your eye health, Oh, but they don't technically improve like your vision or like, You won't get glasses because you eat them. Okay. I know. It's so interesting. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, we get twisted up with all these things. (laughs) Okay. Another one is, another myth is organic produce is always healthier than non-organic. And the fact is organic produce can have similar nutrition or content than non-organic produce, but the choice often comes down to personal preference, environmental considerations, rather than actual health benefits. Agreed. It's like fertilizers, like totally. how they're cleaning and feeding the, the produce. Well, and like the dirty dozen, obviously. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like a yeah. non-organic orange. I mean, it still has its like protective like coating. Yes. You know what I mean? It's so still it's like, good for you. Like if, yeah. it, if you are at a grocery store and there's regular oranges and there's not organic ones, you can still get the regular orange. It's okay. Right, because it's better than like Twizzlers. Right. Or Cheez-Its. <laughs> Ew, yeah both my faves um okay another one is washing fruits and vegetables with soap removes all the pesticle pesticides and the actual fact is washing produce with water and a brush is more sufficient yeah um because some sometimes soap can leave like a residue Uh on there too and then if we consume that it's probably not the best get that that makes sense people use like 
vinegar to clean the produce do you vinegar no like white vinegar and like let them soak the smell of vinegar in general (laughs) i understand it's like a cleaning it's it does it all you know you can like whiten your teeth and clean and do this and do that I'm going for the chemicals. I'm sorry. It's, <laughs> I can't. I cannot deal with the smell. You could probably put vinegar on your pimple. I cannot That's deal the with next the smell. Thing. Yeah, but then the, imagine just smelling that all day long. I know. It's actually, it's weird. You would like it. I don't yeah. like, no, I don't love it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you can't really smell it in water. And I also don't understand how it works. I don't I'm going to have to watch like something. You too. And educate myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, another myth is frozen vegetables and fruits are less nutritious than fresh ones. I have heard that. Right, and so the actual fact is frozen vegetables are often frozen like right at the peak of ripeness, so Mm -hmm. technically they're preserving the nutrients. In some cases, they can be more nutritious than fresh produce. Interesting, right? That's interesting. And sometimes they're cheaper, too. Like, you could get, like, a bag of, like, frozen broccoli for, like, 89 cents. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sale. They're way, way cheaper, I feel and plus, like. plus, like, I don't waste as much. I always get frozen vegetables. Really? There's always something on hand I have. Yeah, because it's, like, I don't know. Like, I don't go, th- I can't go through yeah, that's the true. raw stuff as much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm one person. You, like, yeah. you guys probably go through it, yeah. but. Okay. Another myth is cutting your fruit and vegetable leads to significant nutrition loss. I've never heard that. I've never heard that either. What? Um, yeah. Cutting it? So you're just supposed to, like, <laughs> throw a whole banana down? I guess. I mean, you could throw. <laughs> Not the whole thing. You have to bite it. Yeah, but, but still, like. I think it's more so with, like. Um, what, like cutting it? So like the peels and stuff like that, I think. Okay, interesting. So anyways, the fact is, while some nutrition, some nutrient loss occurs when produce is consumed, some after preparation. So I guess, I don't know, the juices are losing. I don't know. I'm just applying the facts here. No, that makes sense, I guess. I'm just trying to, like... I think if there was something about, like... I was going to say, maybe it was, like, the way that, like, the knife they were using that would make it, like, contaminated or something. Well, my aunt always... and Don't quote her, because I don't know how accurate this is, but she would always say that when you cut lettuce with a knife... It, like, loses its thing, and it tastes like lettuce because you're directly, like, cutting the the part that's healthy. You know what I mean? They're so It's so thin, but, like, when you go, like, you should be tearing it apart. Sure. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, like I know a, that. Like a head of romaine? Yes, like a romaine. Or, or iceberg. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Like, you should be just, like, tearing it apart instead of, like, using a knife. Okay. I don't know how true that is. Okay. She's Greek, you know what I'm saying? So it's probably true. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> um, okay. Another myth is all white veggies are low in nutrients. God, if Literally, I hear one more thing, I'm like, leave the potatoes alone. Onions, potatoes, I garlic. Know. I'm like, stop. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> white veggies like cauliflower, onions, garlic are packed with essential nutrients, antioxidants that are very beneficial. I'm for obsessed us. with cauliflower. I could eat them a hundred different ways. Like cauliflower mash, cauliflower, oh, yeah. like buffalo chicken wings. Oh, yeah, dude. I don't know why. Get creative with so it, good. okay? That's going to be... We're, we're going to talk later this episode. I know, yeah. There's ways to make these veggies work. They really are. You know? They really are. We got we got to get crafty. <laughs> okay. Um, another myth. Fruit juice is as healthy as whole fruit. It depends because I, I juiced for a while, like actually... Oh. You did? Oh, yeah. I have a juicer. My mom gave me... She had gotten like a really good one years ago, and then... Uh-huh. I don't know. It was that like was all COVID, the rage for a while. COVID, I was like, couldn't go anywhere, couldn't do anything. My mom's like, here, take the, you know, take the juicer with you to Chicago. Like the last time I was there or whatever in Michigan. And so I started juicing then. And um, it is expensive, dude. Number oh, one, yeah. it's expensive because literally like what you think you have to buy like regular fruit or vegetables, produce. Oh, no, you literally you need like three times. Mm-hmm. Then you have to literally take the machine apart every single time no. after. So the cleaning, it's like now I get why this juice is $15 at the store. I think oh, I'm yeah. going to just pay 10 bucks. Or no, like literally you can put a whole cucumber in and get oh, yeah. a smidge of juice. Yep. <laughs> Yes. I'm like, okay. I don't know. I'm a physical, like, I have to, like, eat yeah. person. Yeah. So, like, I'm very weird about juicing. Okay. But anyway, um, I think this is more so talking about, like, you know, Tropicana type Got juice. Got it. It's like, 
that kind well, of Well, obviously, juice. like, yeah. added sugars. And that yeah, has yeah, a lot yeah. of, exactly. There's a lot of added sugar in that crap, which is scary. It's, like, one of them was, like, two times the amount. It was, like, one of the fruit juices was, like, two times the amount of, like, a Coke. I'm, like, I know. It's Stick with bad, your cans man. of cola. I know. Okay, this is one I loved and I thought was always true. Eating celery burns more calories than it has. <laughs> you thought that was true? Yeah. No, literally. I think the fact was like a, ca- a a thing of celery. I've heard that. Like, oh, it's like ten take- calories and it takes fifteen to burn it. So people would just like sit there and like gnaw on celery. Stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard it, but it was like maybe worded a little differently. Yeah. Okay. So the fact is, while celery is very low in calories and can be part of a healthy diet, the idea that it has negative calories is a myth. Um. The calories are burned through digestion are minimal. So okay. I think it's I will just the say, physical part of eating it. Um, I mean, it's no calories to eat. Like, they're zero. So what do you mean? regardless of, like, if, oh, if, like, if you're chomping in and you're burning 15, <laughs> the actual celery itself is, like, zero calories. So right. I think it is actually, like, a good snack because it contains so much water. So, That's like, true. summer months... Even if you just get, like, a little scoop of, like, your little dill dip or, like, peanut butter or whatever oh, you're sure. using, mm-hmm. it's kind of your – one of them doesn't count. So load it, <laughs> so load it up. It's second It's honestly spoon. so good with, like, cream cheese and everything oh, bagel yeah. seasoning. So fire. Ooh. No. Um, no, I actually love celery, but I know a lot of people who, like, cannot stand the like taste Like, the hairs of it. of it, too. Oh, yeah. Give yeah. me it. I love um, it. I love, I love it, like, too. pulling them. Oh, it's, like, thick. Dude, some of them, I'm like, come on, where is that coming from? It's like a toothpick at that point. I know, I know. All right, and last one. Avocados are bad for you because they are too high in fat. I've heard that too, but I'm sure that's, you want like the good fats. Well, yeah, exactly. So it's it's basically, you know, monounsaturated fat, which helps us lower our cholesterol and is beneficial. Okay, that makes sense. The good fat. If we love the good fats. All right, so let's kind of talk about, you know, some other produce, like hot topics, if you will. Mm -hmm. So, like, one thing is obviously seasonal produce, and I think there's been a big push on this lately. I don't know if you've noticed it, where it's, like, more so forcing ourselves to kind of eat what's in season versus, like... For sure. You know, forcing apples during a time that they're not in season. Well, I also think, too, that has a lot to do with, like, inflation. It's, you know, obviously when, like, yeah, things are in season it's obviously cheaper like mm-hmm. i i'm gonna be honest i'm not buying no cherries or anything in january oh yeah you got exactly. me fleet up if you think i'm paying 18 dollars for two mm-hmm. pounds because the one, cherries be taxing fun fact not fun um last winter i had a taste for watermelon one day in like february girl i paid like nine dollars i believe for a little it thing was it good no, it was like crunchy and like dry. Not There's sweet. not as yeah, juicy. It was like yeah, bad. I don't See, even know that's where, it, where they get and who you. knows where it came from. Of course, even. yeah. Us Americans over here, <laughs> we want the watermelon. <laughs> um, no, so anyways, obviously see, summer season stuff: berries, stone fruit, yep. like peaches, nectarines, plums, apricots, and cherries are in right now. Grapes, and mangoes, and figs, watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew. Mm-hmm. Give me Love. all of it. I've all of the melons. Mm-hmm. Even pineapple right now. I mean, I know you can buy pineapple like year round. Mm-hmm. I will say that's one that I don't mind like buying in like the, the colder yeah, months times. because the prices really don't change that much. But there's just something about like fruits, like fresh fruits and veggies in the summer. Of they're crunchy. It's like they're sweet. They're you can juicy. actually taste its flavor. It, 100%. Yeah. So good. So good. Like even. Do you find yourself, like, right now in, like, when it's, like, warmer out, do you find yourself kind of being, like, not knowing what you want to eat because maybe it's, like, too heavy or then, like, you're working all day and it's, like, too hot to eat, like, a big, like, I just, I could, give me a fruit salad, get me a bowl with a bunch of veggies cut up and, like, olive oil and salt and pepper and some feta because that is what I want. Yeah. Or, like, even if you were to get, like... A sandwich somewhere it's like sure. i'm not getting like fries right now no like, you know what i mean it's yeah. like too heavy too hot to like eat that stuff right now i'm like then you're only... i might go for like cottage cheese and like a cucumber or something right with it or right. whatever like for sure something more fresh and refreshing yeah. definitely and like you said too it's like why would i not have like a tomato when it's 
at its best. <laughs> I can eat a you tomato know what I mean? like an apple. It, for sure. Some people eat onions like that. No, I can't do that. That's I love onion, but I could never do that. That's a lot. Not, of, that's no, a lot. that's a lot Heart, of onion. That screams heartburn for me, I think. Um, no, but obviously, like, select, selecting fruits right now. And so I wish we had a garden or a garden space, but we definitely don't here in the city. Yeah. Um, but, hey, for those that do, thank you. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so, anyways. And then other things that, like, are super trendy right now are, like, the farm-to-table mm-hmm. type restaurants. Yep. Do you like those? Yeah, I've been to them. I also mm-hmm. would say another thing that's actually kind of to, like, in- incorporate – also like people living off their land yeah that's like so common and like more and more when i like go back home Mm -hmm. people like oh yeah they bought like a three acre land they have a dairy cow they have this i'm like what oh yeah no like i have a really good friend who recently moved um and she has a big family with her kiddos and so like they recently got like chickens for like fresh eggs i will say there is i get so jealous because i'm like her garden is insane. Her eggs. I'm like, the eggs. Girl. That's where. And they're thriving right now. I wish. Everything is thriving I wish I had a backyard for mm-hmm. a bed, like a garden. Totally. And then the like actual eggs from the chickens are so dang good. Oh, yeah. It, it's you, insane. You can't compare. No. No. Cannot compare to anything, literally. What? Um. So have you been to, is there a certain restaurant or anywhere that like is standing out that, that you know that's been like, you know. There was one in the city, but I think it recently closed. It was called something like Herb or something, and they actually had a garden on top of the building. Oh. So they would literally, whatever was like, whatever they had up there, like yeah. that was fresh to pick, is what they had. And so once they were out of something, they were out, and it was so good. Obviously, it was called Herbs because they had a big herb garden up there, sure. too. So it was just so fresh and delicious. So that one sticks out. And then there's one in Bloomington, Indiana. Um, Both my sisters went there. And even, like, it's farm to table, and it's a little bit outside of, like, the downtown campus area. But, like, the meat, the cheese, everything came from directly from their farm. And like I said, like, once it's out, it was out. But, like, oh, my God, I can still taste the, like, deliciousness of, like, the quality of that meat and like I believe it was so good I believe it someone at our gym I feel like I might have told you this but somebody that we know that works out um at our gym just recently started going and he drives an hour and a half each way mm-hmm. and he goes straight to a farm and he and four guys split mm-hmm. a half a cow oh, or a quarter oh my of gosh, a cow I was just gonna say people do it's that. like two thousand dollars yep but they it break how he told me about it was like it breaks it down so that the steak is like three dollars and 75 cents a, a pound or something right um obviously like two grams a lot you have to front that but if you have enough people going in like it is so much more cheaper to mm-hmm. do it that way he also feeds his dog like act like makes the dog food okay with some of that meat but you can buy like any part of like the cow like no, wild. Yeah. So and you're just driving back to Chicago with like this big ass cow on your back. One of my friends did that with her neighbor. And like, it was so interesting because they base, because the money also goes to like raising the animal. So mm-hmm, like you're mm-hmm. like feeding it, whatever. And it's so funny because the, the farmer would like send them like updates like, oh, your thing has like gained weight or whatever, like kept them like posted. So they kind of knew the whole time. But it was also really cool because what they what they then do is like some of they they cut you like the ribeye yep, part. Yeah. They ground it yes, up for you. Yes. They it's like make packaged. a sausage. Yep. Like literally so when you when you're paying for this, like they do it, do it all. all. Yeah. So it's really cool. I'm like, dang. So it's like you have like the lamb shank or whatever. They got lamb. So it was like they had like that and like the ribs part of it, it was like amazing and all done up for them. So I will say too um, I think, yeah, if you have a family, like, it'd be, a, a, for a single person, like, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, what am I going to do? I'd be storing that for, What are you going like to do years. with 80 pounds of beef? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Eating it every Ew. day. So, yeah, but a lot they're, of beef. <laughs> they're, those things are definitely, like, much more popular. For sure. I think people like the connection yep. to, like, their food a little bit more nowadays. And, like, obviously, supporting local is yep. always a big thing, too. So, and... Although it could be more expensive, like, it, again, like, the quality is kind of, like, worth it. Another thing to talk about is kind of, like, some 
more of these like trends in food so like exotic foods like I feel like I've been seeing more like dragon fruit, for oh, example, yeah. or like we, what, jackfruit. That, we just saw that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've never even, I mean, up until like a few years There's, ago, I've never even seen that no, before. Not, not out like that. Purple potato is another one. That's Heirloom a big one. Tomatoes, yep. Microgreens and uh-huh. like sprouts are really taking off right now. I mean, again. have you tried those like micro, well, it's not micro, it's like true food, true fruit true fruit like the restaurant no like the freeze dried oh true fruit yeah 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 i've had those okay so that same brand also makes like cherry tomatoes oh i think it's the same brand or like a sister brand but like yeah it's like made in a building and like it's like the purest perfect cherry tomato but they're like nine dollars really for like a pack of like 20 (laughs) tomatoes and i'm like probably amazing they're probably i'm just like picturing i'm it and like the crunch <laughs> the squirt but people yeah <laughs> but people literally are now spending money on that kind of stuff yeah they want to no. know where their food's actually coming from well it's interesting because i feel like i can seriously remember when like avocado toast became a thing oh my god me like i was too. like what literally what the hell is an avocado yeah why are we smashing this and literally yep. everyone was like doing it and i'm like what the heck why and now it's just part it's of like everybody's diet yeah. yeah i'm actually not a big fan really i mean it's i don't okay. love it either i'm like it doesn't have flavor give me a bagel with cream cheese <laughs> seriously i mean throw some everything bagel seasoning i mean the avocado is probably better for you but the for calories sure. on it is like way too much for me like i'm it's like just... 300 calories for a freaking avocado yeah we're it's good a lot anyways but i love the creaminess i love yeah. the texture of it whatever and if you're gonna use it i mean sign there's me up, a lot of but... different things you can do with it um, let's go back to cauliflower because yeah. that's also popping off. You yeah. said cauliflower rice, cauliflower crust, mashed potatoes that are ca- cauliflower mashed potatoes. Literally. I, I saw a meme that was like, is there anything cauliflower can't do? Literally. <laughs> like I've seen now. People are like powder, like, I don't know how they're doing it, but they're basically making like cauliflower almost into a breadcrumb and oh, yeah. literally putting it on their chicken, like having their chicken breast. Oh, really? Yes. That's a good one. Well, you, like, have to obviously put, like, a bunch of seasoning with it. Like, you're not just, like, throwing all this raw. I've seen, um, actually, a restaurant in Vegas that we went to recently had cauliflower steak. So, like, it was, like, a thick, you know what I mean? And they, like, roast it on both sides, flavor it. It looks pretty fire. Yeah. I mean, because it was, like, so imagine, like, it looked like a pork chop. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm like, oh my god! If you're a vegetarian, there's options. Sign it you're up. definitely the, the options now. Mm-hmm. I definitely think if you have like, you're vegetarian or you have like any, you know, what right. is it? You just eat meat. You're carnivore. Carnivore, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever. I mean, like, that could be a good side for low calorie for like sure. That. But there's, I feel like now there's so many options oh, that yeah. you can like do with your food. People are definitely creative. Oh yeah. Um, broccoli tots. Have you seen like yep. that even now? You can make like veggie chips. Heck yeah. I'm like, all right, guys, let me get the throw vegetables Throw a little bit down. of cheese. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> throw a little cheese on it and you're good. Ain't nothing cheese and salt can't fix. You you're know fine. It's still <laughs> healthy, okay? Uh, um, no, and even mushrooms. Like, mushrooms yeah. have become, like, the new meat, I feel yep. like. Even mushroom coffee. Yeah. Mushroom. Shrooms are where it's mushroom, at. There's mushroom, There's so many health, mushrooms. Yeah. Health benefits. Hey, can't hate, I guess. Um, a couple other trends that I think are interesting is pre-cut produce, which yep. was not a thing for our parents. No, like, it's like washed, ready to go. I know, which also irritates me sometimes because I'm like, really? That's not even a full mango in there. And it's like $7. It's, the prices are crazy. It's literally half a mango cut up. And I'm like, It's nice if wow. you like need it like quick and ready to go. But like, you, I don't think personally you get as much. No, definitely not. It's a joke. Um, fermented veggies mm-hmm. is a big trend right now. Obviously, I, oh my God, I love fermented veggies. Really? So much, yeah. Like, pepperoncini type style. Okay, you know yeah. What I mean? Yeah, yeah. So good. Low waste or ugly produce. Have you seen, like, companies now that will, like, sell the potato that looks funky and stuff, whereas before they would, like, throw it yeah. away or, like, yep. if an orange has, like, a pump, like, hump on it or something. They, we're like, embracing it. Yeah, we're... We take it all. Any, all types and sizes. <laughs> the U.S., We do not discriminate is anymore. <laughs> Even if your orange has a nipple on it. Literally. We will take you. 
Love it. And then obviously CBD. Is yeah, used that's for, everywhere. What the heck? Everywhere. I've seen like literally CBD like dog water oh, yeah. or toothpaste yeah. or. Get your CBD in. Do you like it? Do you do? CBD? I mean, it's. Uh, I, I do alternate options. CBD doesn't. I don't. I don't taste. I don't notice anything. Okay. Do you? I don't. I have think- never like. Ha- let me say it this way. I have never had a food that had CBD in it where I'm like, whoa, <laughs> holy cow, I got the nutrients, baby. No. Whoa, that was a jolt. No. Yeah. Um, I've done like a CBD like topical lotion type sure. of thing and that that, that helps. That like definitely, those kinds like of the muscle are, rubs. Yeah. yeah. I'm totally. in a food form though. I don't really. Yeah. Like CBD kombucha. Why? Yeah. Like I, I'm just trying to figure out like. I think what it's a placebo like, thing. I think it's a mental thing. It already like ch- like kombucha is pretty of a chill drink type of thing. Yeah. So it's like why? I don't know. I mean, I guess I if you were like high strong, also, if it genuinely helps you, I understand. That. I also do think too now there's just more way more options than like for people who don't drink either. So true, maybe true. like their kombucha with the CBD is like their form of like a beer or like okay, you yeah, know like they don't drink at thing. all or you know they're not they don't like non alcoholic stuff so. You know, just yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. don't know. And no, that's it makes sense. Maybe I just feel like like now in 2024, they say that alcohol sales have actually gone down. Oh, yeah. No, a I ton. And well. like a ton of people are more sober curious than ever before. So maybe that's like how those companies are marketing to kind of stay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I guess. Yeah. Have a drug, but not. A drug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But hey, it's taken people off. People love it. And then another thing to mention is definitely international foods. I think like yes, to talk about those even and what international I mean, like food markets. Yeah, what I mean by that is I feel like as the U.S. like we're very much so curious in terms of like different cuisines where like Asia we're eating bok choy yep. and lychee. Yep, <laughs> yep. I love a lychee martini. Um, like dragon fruit, acai berries. We've tapped into plantains, passion fruit cassava have you seen that the like, cassava s- flower yep. yams okra olives and figs and berries um and then japan like seaweed edamame mm-hmm. like all that stuff i mean especially I don't if discriminate. you're in chicago <laughs> all of that is around seriously it's everywhere i know of course and especially like not necessarily even the foods but like their way of eating we've taken on so for example in brazil they do a lot of the smoothie bowls like that's how they like eat. Acai smoothie and those bowls, have yeah. taken off here yep. this year i feel like like everyone will have like a cool type of let me be honest bowl. those will fill you but up yeah they do i you, never finish when i feel you cannot be just like a little bit hungry it's yeah. a waste of money yeah that, true that mug is 14 dollars <laughs> <laughs> or more it's yeah. like by the weight sometimes so it's yeah. like I've literally you seen a lady be like twenty three bucks, seeds, and I'm like, blah, blah. <laughs> for this? Yeah, girl. I don't know. Packed with nutrients, girl. Yeah, I know. Love Mexican cuisine. I mean, Ugh. dare I even go there? I won't. Or Italian, but I could eat that all the time. Um, so in North Africa, dates are really popular, yep. which have taken off Definitely. here too. Yep. Whether it's like in a salad or flavor yep. date syrup, I've seen. I've seen like date them. appetizers yep. everywhere. Mm-hmm. The There's actually like health benefits to them too. Oh yeah, for sure. It's a great sweetener, yeah. I think too. Um, obviously, the Mediterranean diet everyone always does. Root vegetables have taken off. You know, sweet potatoes, that kind of thing. And then finally, like Israeli Lebanon kind of yep. things, like tambouli, those yep. kind of bowls and stuff. Fatouche. What? Yeah, Fatouche. Why? Oh, I'm like. I'm impressed. Girl, you know I know my Mediterranean <laughs> food. Oh, my gosh. So, anyways, that's kind of all I have on, like, the actual food itself. Uh-huh. Um, but, like, like as we mentioned, I mean, there's so many different trends and stuff. And just like anything else, when we talk about, like, makeup or things like that, you guys, we're not joking when we say, like, you can get really good deals oh my God. on produce at the flea. Um, like, especially. Seriously. Yeah, especially if you get a vendor, too, that even has, like, that has picked up, like, you know, I don't want to say waste, but, like, things that a grocery store couldn't sell. There are some times where you can literally get five packs of blueberries for, like, a dollar if it needs to, like, be pushed out. And you can eat it that day or freeze it or ferment it or whatever, you know, the case is. Um, Our next episode is going to be about the prices, so we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth. But... 
give some of this stuff a try. Like, again, with these trends or if you're experimenting, if you're out there and you're a cook and chef, like, hit it up. Also, I was going to say, too, you know, summer, we're still in summer. I I get that, Mm -hmm. you know, unfortunately, some kids are going to start going back to school here in the next couple weeks. But um, which is insane. uh, Very. What I would also be doing at Swap is like if you are going to a party and you are in charge of making a blueberry pie or an apple pie or this or that Swap is literally the place to go. Mm -hmm. The product like the produce is still so good and. Mm -hmm. They're never going to know that you got it at the flea market, okay? No, no one cares. Do you think anyone comes over to my house and is like, where did you buy your banana from? <laughs> no, no one N- cares literally about where not you one time. your banana from. <laughs> All they know is it's good. Yeah, 100%. I agree. Um, let's end this episode with some health benefits yeah. to fruits and vegetables. Yeah. And none other than Rachel, because Rachel is oh God, a worker outer and very, very, I don't, I don't want to say you're like, a guru or anything but you're not by any means but i'm just saying like you put health before a lot of things so yeah Appreciate tell that. us tell us some um, some facts here to okay end, to end the episode to end the episode so to kind of get your intake a little bit higher for fruits and vegetables um some key things to kind of keep in mind so they are nutrient rich right so fresh produce is packed with essential vitamins minerals antioxidants and they support your overall health Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. Um, They're also really good for your digestive health. Fresh produce is a great source of dietary fiber, which is crucial for digestive health. So for keeping it moving. Yes. (laughs) I feel like now more than ever, I have heard every single one of my friends talk about their gut, like gut health. Oh, yeah. Taking prebiotics, drinking kombucha, eating ginger. Like Mm -hmm. there's so many different things. Um I think at the end of the day, listen, we don't have to make this, you don't have to make this like scary. This doesn't have to be a huge change. Like I said, I eat a ton of fruits and vegetables, but there's some I simply don't like. I will put a little bit of salt and pepper. I will use, I will cut up cucumbers and make them like little chips and put um, cream cheese on top with everything bagel seasoning. Like you, you make it to like, make it to fit your lifestyle. I'm a big dipper. So I love getting, you know, peppers like the tri-color peppers yeah cutting them into sticks and Mm -hmm. then you know dipping them in like a dill dip or french onion dip or whatever instead of using a chip um so little little changes definitely make a big difference well i will say too with fiber like i feel like so many people make it more complicated by like taking a fiber supplement or like powders and stuff and it's like if you just eat your fruits and vegetables Every day. like they tell us, <laughs> like you're fine. Yeah, you don't really need to take that stuff because yeah. everything is packed with it already. You Correct. know. So, um, I will say it's also really good for weight management. So for fresh sure. produce is naturally low in calories mm-hmm. and high in water content, making it an excellent source for weight management. Some fruits and veggies that I absolutely love that are virtually no calories, um, you could truly eat an entire watermelon the whole thing like mm-hmm. you'll be fine like your people have done the watermelon diet it's yeah. so much water um any lettuce. type of like lettuce romaine cucumbers broccoli asparagus all of that stuff all the you greens literally can do anything with it a little bit of salt and pepper a little bit of italian seasoning and a little bit of you know olive oil you don't need a lot some people do even like pico de gallo yep. which is like a sun or salsa yep. like i've seen a lot of my friends will do like celery and like uh-huh. dip it in salsa and it's uh-huh. like that's literally a veggie and a veggie yep. so it's it's negative You're it's out fine. there <laughs> so you can there are ways to do it use yeah. your calories doing other things like eating cheeseburgers and drinking beer or something exactly um Another thing, it helps promote heart health. So many fruits and veggies are known for their heart healthy benefits, low in saturated fat and cholesterol, high in nutrients like potassium, fiber, and antioxidants that help reduce heart um, disease and heart failure. So that's another thing you want to keep in mind. And then lastly, fruits and Fruits and vegetables help support your immune system, right? So they are a key component to a balanced diet that will help support a healthy immune system because they have vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. So they play a crucial role in kind of that whole immunity. That's why people will take like immunity shots. And, you know, that's another thing too. If you feel like, oh my God, I can't eat all this broccoli or I I can't blend all these veggies together to get my fiber and my minerals and my vitamins. 
there's so many different options now. You can go to Trader Joe's. You can go to Mariano. You can go to Kroger. Like, all – they have wellness shots, right? So mm-hmm. th- the prices are anywhere from 2 to $5, and that will literally be all, like, your source, your greens for the day. People right. buy, you know, the green powders now. Right. I think and all of those are good options. You just got to figure out what's best for you. Personally, mm-hmm. I don't want – I'm not eating powdered veggies. <laughs> I would rather just eat the damn right, vegetable. Right, right, You know, but some people hate vegetables, so See, they're putting the powder in. I love sometimes, like, in the winter when you're, like, want something cozy, mm-hmm. blending all of it in yeah. a soup. You know what I mean? Like, putting vegetable. Like, like a minestrone. Exactly. Well, not even, but, like, sometimes if you make, like, a chicken noodle, right? So, like, celery, onion, oh, carrot. Yeah. I'll even throw in some broccoli sometimes yep. or whatever and just like an immersion blender and like blend it up yep. and then it becomes this like creamy concoction. You can literally throw tomato, like whatever you have on hand and it just becomes this like creamy goodness and so good. You so know good what I mean? for you too. Yeah. And essentially low in calories too. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we're not, I hopefully we're not telling you anything new here. Yeah. Um, but anyways, it's, it's a perfect time to kind of, Rebring this to the surface and enjoy yourself while the produce is still good. And then as we transition to fall where it's even better, right? Stuff like asparagus is coming into play, eggplant, zucchini, yep. all of those, like, mm, the hardiness, goodness, too, where it's like, hey, I can I can use some swaps, too, instead of, like, an eggplant parma. You know what I mean? Like, I was going to say, there's so many TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, yeah. Pinterest. There's Definitely. so many different places that you can get those recipes. Mm. Literally type in broccoli like ideas, ideas that are e- easy broccoli ideas. A hundred yeah. million will come up. You don't yeah. have to make it complicated. Drizzle a little bit of hot honey on them. People right. love that right now. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, do what you got to do to to get it down. Yeah. And the thing is, too, I mean, like, we talk about inflation and prices going mm-hmm. up and it's a lot of the processed foods that are higher in price. You know what I mean? Like not that our fruits and vegetables haven't or meats and things like that they have, but going, getting some of that stuff is super beneficial. Okay. Well, that will do it. Obviously we're not doctors, so don't. Yeah. I don't know why. (laughs) Yeah. Don't quote us here, but I mean, I'm just saying, we're we're just just saying saying the facts. Yeah. What works for us? (laughs) Yeah. What works for us. And again, like this was, kind of triggered by all of the goodness that we've seen at the flea yep. lately it is insane it's so beautiful too like honestly just looking at the produce section and the aloe and the cactus and all that stuff is so beautiful to see and it's so delicious too and we just had to share we did. so <laughs> so yeah stay tuned for next week where we actually compare these prices with one of the biggest like supermarket low price retailer and we'll see what happens perfect but yeah thanks for joining guys as always if you guys like this episode make sure to like comment and subscribe to our channel yeah thanks for watching another episode of you me and the the flea Flea. see you you next week. week